<laughs> Don't mind our sleepy eyes. <laughs> it's an early morning, but it's Saturday morning. But this is what we just did. Our cow calved. How many days ago now? Three. Wednesday morning. Wednesday morning. So now her milk has come in. Two liters, not four liters, not six, <laughs> not eight, but lot nine liters of milk. <laughs> That's with her calf being separated overnight, and we didn't milk her even totally empty so that the calf gets the first morning milking uh, or the first morning milk. And so we took out nine liters, left the last bit. Are you putting all the milk in the fridge? Don't you look like a fluff muffin too? <laughs> 
<laughs> Jeff rolled out of bed, right? <laughs> so we're putting all the milk up. Um, we had a bit of a rough start with her, which of course we didn't film because picking up a camera when things are tough is always a, a little bit harder. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks. Maybe that will make me look more presentable. Thanks, bud. <laughs> there. <laughs> Um, she ended up getting milk fever 24 hours after she was born, but um, we ended up giving her uh, IV calcium. Milk fever means that the calcium dra uh, drops too low too quickly. So a uh, calf being born and trying to make enough milk to, and uh, trying to make enough milk to keep up with the calf, which we didn't even milk much yet, and. Um, yeah, Jersey cows are quite prone to getting milk fever, so it wasn't a huge surprise that she got it, but nothing that a good dose of calcium didn't fix. So, yeah, the first three days she gave colostrum. Yesterday it was still a colostrum, a lot of colostrum in her milk. Now this morning it's clear, isn't it? It's clear, so. So as you can tell, I don't know about the lighting, but there's quite a thick layer of yellow on top. And that's the colostrum that's separated out of the milk. Let me see if I can get a better picture of one. There, 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 and there. So, and as you can tell, even last night yet, she gave a little bit. So we try to put them all in order of oldest to freshest. Oh, What do we do with all this milk? Do we drink it all? No, absolutely not. We drink what, whatever we want, whatever we can, make porridge with it. Um, yeah, goes in. Ice cream. Ice cream <laughs> goes in our baking. And then once a week, I use my cream separator, which will be a separate video. I cream separate all of my milk, and then we make butter. Um, oh, and before we cream separate, we always make yogurt. But after that, we make butter, we have cream, Yes, and then the skim milk goes to our pigs. Life of having a cow on a homestead. With a calf. With a calf, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so the calf is a heifer calf. Um, she will be our next year's meat, so she will be on mama for, what, three, four months? Yeah, about four months. Yeah, yeah about four months we will calf share with her. Um, so she will have all day access to mama drink all day whatever she wants mama will make enough milk for that at night we put her up make sure um, Martha's milked empty so that she's dry so she doesn't end up getting colostrum or um, mastitis and then um, in the morning like I said before we don't milk her totally empty so that she gets some of that morning milk as well and then uh, after four months we'll separate them using she no longer needs her mama's milk and after weaning her, she'll join Mama again back out in the fields. Yeah. So why do we want a homestead cow? Why are why do we want a homestead? Why are we so determined to have a homestead cow? <laughs> we know where it's coming from. We know we have every all the ingredients to make it. Yeah, it's made from 100% all natural ingredients. We know what feed she eats. Uh, we know what kind of pasture she's going on in the summertime, springtime over here. Um, there's no preservatives at all in it. And um, having a milk, having a homestead milk cow is definitely not um, an easy and the easier route. Would you say? No, the easier route would definitely be buying all of your stuff in the stores. But the rewards, I think, would just speak for itself. Um, being able to have. Our homemade cheese alone has been such a it's been just so awesome been such a reward so yeah and, uh, homemade cheese tastes a lot better than the store-bought cheese i find at least yes yes that's for sure i think every any, anything frying frying our meats in our homemade butter yeah yeah um, all those kind of things all those kind of things tastes a whole lot better so um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below about homestead cows and we'll try our best to answer it. This is our second homestead cow we've had. We had a Holstein uh, the first year we moved here. Yes. Um, this, is, uh, this is a Jersey cow. 
Jersey cows tend to give a higher fat content in their milk, which gives more cream and um, that kind of stuff. And they're just overall a smaller cow. Um, they're not so big to handle. So that is why we went for a Jersey this time. Um, but yeah, if you have any more questions or you'd like to, us to do a QA and a on um, more about homesteading cows or you have us more questions, ask them and we can always um, post them in our stories on Instagram. That's right, yeah. And, uh, so. To the best of our ability at least. <laughs> yeah, we're learning, we're still learning too. Um, but by all means, I, that's what I, we love about this community is learning from each other. So. Yes. Thanks so much. <laughs>